storms can be gotten around or gotten through. You can survive a storm regardless to the size of the storm. You can survive. Amen? Amen. Now, now, what is a storm? It is said that a storm is a violent commotion of the atmosphere producing wind and rain and a tempest. A violent commotion or an outbreak. Winds having speed of 64 to 72 miles per hour. An assault on a fortified place. A storm. Now, of course, when we think about a physical storm, that's one thing. But I want to talk to you about storms in your life that are not physical altogether, but they have the same impact as a storm in the natural. In the first setting, before we got to the storm story, we see Jesus feeding 5,000 5, people with two fishes and five loaves of bread. After the storm situation, we see him healing bodies. So that in the first setting, he's feeding the multitude and providing as Jehovah Jireh. In the second setting that we're going to deal with, we see him walking on the water, saving Peter, stilling the storm as Jehovah Shalom. All right. God, our peace. Yes. In the third setting, after the storm, we see him healing the multitudes of sick and diseased people who were touched, who had touched the hem of his garment. And he was acting as Jehovah said to do. Our God that healed you. My God. My God. So we know mm. that Jesus will save you. We know that he will provide for you. Yes. Yes. And how many know he will heal you? Yes. I heard y'all yes. talking. Yes. He will yes. heal you of any yes. sickness yes. and any disease. And I have found in my ministry with the Lord in my time that one of the most important things that people need in this day is healing. Yes. Come on. Not only in the body, but healing in the mind. Yes. That's right. That's right. Healing in the emotion. Yes. Yes. There are folks that are in need of healing emotionally and in the mind a lot of times more than the body. That's right. And even sometimes the body is sickness is brought on by sickness in the mind. Yes, yes, that's and right. sickness in the emotion. Yes. And in this generation we're dealing with much sickness in the emotions and the mind. Yes. Even with the young. Yes. Can we say amen? Yes. And so we are dealing with storms of sickness, yes. storms of disease, storms. not only storms of lack and finances and all that, but also storms in the mind. Yes. Yes. Can we say amen? amen? But I want you to know that I don't care what your storm is. Uh, you can have a storm at any age. Yes. Storms come when we are young. Storms come when we are middle aged. Storms come when we're old. Yeah. Storms do not have a set time to come. Right. Many times it gives no warning. Right. Can we say amen? Yeah. But I want you to know this afternoon, after we have set in this place, I want you to understand. Before you go home, that God will help you survive any storm. Uh, God will help you get over any violence in your life. God will help you get over any temptation or any tempestuous things in your life. God will help you get through any assault on your life. 
Many of you are going through a storm as I sit here. Yes. Sometimes people go through storms and you don't even know it. You might be going through a storm while somebody else is at peace. Yes. We don't know who and what's going on in the storm area of anyone's life. That's right. But one thing's for sure. Thank God, God has the storms in his hands. Right. Can you say amen? amen? Our storms come to us. I've been confronted with many storms and I'm sure you have. Yes. I survived many storms and yes. some were not so easy. And sometimes the storm overcame me. But I still got through it. Can you say amen? There were times when I had to find my way out of a storm. Uh, and I know that if it had not been for the Lord on my side. And just as David said, if it hadn't been for him, where would I be? I would have fainted if I had not believed to see. Amen. The blessing of the Lord of the saints in the land of the living. Can we say amen? amen? And so the Lord is saying to the young boy, I will get you through the storm. He's saying to the young girl, I will get you through. Not only can I do it, I will get you through the storm. Can you say amen? I'll get you through any storm that you're dealing with right now. If you're dealing with a financial storm, I'll get you through that. If you're dealing with a physical storm, I'll get you through that. But this generation is dealing with storms, hallelujah, of the mind. Storms of the emotion. And the Lord is saying it doesn't matter what you're dealing with. Just as the story pointed out, I will get you through the storm. If you notice when Peter and the disciples were in the boat, and they were sailing on the sea, they were obeying what God told them to do. He had told them to follow him to the other side. He's saying, I'm going to the other side, but I want you to stay here when I get over there. I want you to follow me. Sometime when God tells you to follow him, he knows there's a storm coming up, but he sends you that way because he wants to meet you in the storm. A lot of times you don't get to know God without a storm. Many times it takes a storm for us to really know who God is. And many times it takes a storm for us to really look for God. For it had not been for the storm in your life, you would not have tried to find God to help you out of the storm. So that's why he told them to follow me after I get over there. And so there they are, sailing on the sea. Everything going nice. Even birds flying around. Everything is calm. And all of a sudden, there's a storm arising. Just like in your life. It looks like every time you get something going well. It looks like every time things are going nice. You got it fixed just right. You think you got everything standing firm. Here comes a storm. Can we say yes? And there came a storm in the sea. And as the storm began to rise, they were in the boat by themselves, sitting in the boat. But when the storm arose, the boat became their comfort zone. Everything outside the boat would die if they stepped out into the storm. Can we say amen? And many times the storm comes to you. you just trying to do what God said. you just trying to obey God's word. You didn't do anything to bring the storm. But the Lord had a purpose in that storm. Look at somebody say, God got a purpose in every storm. Hallelujah. And so when the wind began to blow, and the storm rose, and they looked out on the sea, and they saw something walking, they saw it, they thought it was a spirit. 